by thanking Mayor Spangle for kindly inviting me here tonight to speak about a mission very dear to my heart, called Team 94. My name is Nicole Sabato. My husband and I have been residents of Roseland for the past 19 years. We have raised our three kids in this close-knit community and have all gone through No Ecker School and two are still at West Essex. My middle son, Michael John, has autism, a diagnosis not familiar to Roseland or to too many back in 2001. However, Noacker, Michael, and I worked together as a team to make it a place where Michael John would thrive, and he did. We experienced the same cooperation at West Essex, and still do to this day. Michael John is now 20, and is a part of a work program at West Essex. Ironically, his work program consists of four days, four half days a week working back at old, good old Noacker in the cafeteria, thanks to Mascio's food service. Once again, Noecker coming to the rescue. He has been there for over three years and last April 16th was hired as a part-time employee. That was an amazing day. The rest of the week consists of learning functional math and reading skills. Going to 360 Fitness twice a week where he and five other boys were given a membership thanks to West Essex. And going out for community-based instruction this is a program devised to teach appropriate, appropriate behaviors and skills out in our community. This is a complete functional program, again, feeling blessed. But unfortunately, the blessings will end after he turns 21. For many parents, when a child turns 21, it is a time of excitement and independence. However, for parents of an adult with autism, they suddenly find themselves scrambling to find a program for their young adult because on their 22nd birthday, people with autism suddenly lose their entitlement and school-based support that they have been receiving for the past 19 years. And they enter a more chancier, less funded world of the State Department of Disabilities. So for the past year, my husband and I, along with Dr. Heather Payne, Michael John's behaviors for the past 15 years, have been researching and visiting adult programs in our area, but to no avail. But make no mistake, we have seen some amazing programs over the last 12 months, only to find time and time again that there are no openings. This is a heartbreaking reality for over 25,000 young adults with ASD that will come of age this year in New Jersey. This is a crisis and what brings me before you today. We have created a nonprofit organization called Team 94. Our mission is to create a program in our community that provides continuing education for adults with autism spectrum disorder in critical areas such as daily living skills, community participation, vocation, leisure, and recreation. We strive to provide the most innovative and effective services to ensure that our members are given the opportunity to continue to pursue and work towards a meaningful, productive, fulfilled and happy life. This is a huge endeavor, but we are committed and determined to give these people the opportunity to reach their God-given potential with dignity and compassion. Their journey will not end at 21. As of January, we started planning our fundraising strategies. We are extremely excited for our first event on April 7th, a color run, which will be held in North Caldwell. We chose to introduce Team 94 with this kind of event to raise awareness to the crisis and to start conversations in our community. In doing so, we so far have raised over $52,000 in sponsorships and have over 480 people registered to attend. This is unreal, but not surprising from our West Essex community. Our next events will include the West Essex Football Club golf outing on May 30th and a gala on October 25th. I am grateful for your time tonight and for the opportunity to spread the word of Team 94. We look forward with hope to change the future for our young adults with autism.